you see you know, from your team as that's leading to these slow starts that you guys are having? Uh, I don't want to say like it's our offense, but our, our offense is making us have a slow start. We don't see the ball going through the hoop. We feel like we're supposed to make it, make those shots and stuff like that, and it doesn't translate to the defense. That's why Virginia Tech came out how they came out. What kind of flip was switched? Was it something in the locker room, or, or what, what felt different? I guess to start that second half and rolling into it. Yeah, we had to talk in the locker room uh, today. I actually spoke up and said some words to my teammates about like just just playing. Sometimes you feel like robots and doing the stuff like within the play. You just got to be aggressive and take the open looks. What you said about you know offense leading to defense and maybe offensive struggles leading to some defensive letdowns. Your coach has talked about that a bunch of times in here with us. How much has he tried to press you guys on that to not let offense carry over to defense? Uh, he, preaches, he preaches to us every day about it, the situation, and we watch a lot of film about it. Just, I don't know, we're not clicking. You seem to be very aggressive, you know, taking, even when guys are on you, you're taking shots and you're making them. Is that uh, the mindset that you acquired from the last couple weeks? Yeah, um, I told everybody I'm tired of letting everybody down, and people said I'm struggling and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be aggressive and, and look for my teammates and look for me. Tell me, as a, as a leader on the team, what will you do or what do you think you guys will do before the game starts on Monday to have a better start? Uh, I'm actually going to talk to everybody like in a group and tell them what it is before the game start, and it's just going to have to play out like that. When you have a second half like you had uh, t tonight, that would make you want to, you know, get the rematch with the center. Make you want to play play them tomorrow if we have to, right? Yeah, I feel like we got to come back out and try to get the win. We we've been struggling, and I I feel like we can beat this team. So we just got to do the little things to win. What are things that you've seen from John that he has to improve as a teammate? Because you you've commented before about things like when he picked up his play, you pointed out like, hey, these are the things we've been talking to him about. He only had two points today. Because you know it wasn't wasn't doing as well on defense. What is what are you got? What are you telling him as, as a teammate to help him through that? His positivity. He always got to have his head up, even though it's not his night. Maybe he's turning it over and not scoring. He just got to keep being the person we know, the the energy guy, smiling around, just being the good teammate that he is. Do you think he puts his head down sometimes in those rough points? Yeah, I think he puts too much uh, pressure on him, so he gets frustrated when he turns over the ball and just not playing how he wants to play. So he just put more pressure on him. It seemed like there were times that you and Jamaris were like feeding off of each other. There was you guys forced a turnover where I think you tipped it and then saved it out of bounds, and he did the same thing. And both of you were doing that. What's what's it been like growing with him as a, as a teammate in the backcourt and the chemistry that you guys have built? It's been going um, pretty good. I want to say we're still learning from each other, and from this standpoint and his standpoint, we just trying to like piggyback off each other. So some things I say to him, and some things he'll say to me. Mo got into some foul trouble in the second half. How did that affect what you guys wanted to do on both ends of the court? Uh, it affects a lot because Mo, he can space out the court. He can shoot it. He can change shots and stuff like that. So lately, even getting in foul trouble and we trying to prevent that from happening. So we just got to we gotta just keep him on the floor. So we're going to start helping him and, and doubling down. You said we. Is that like a team effort? How can you guys all kind of See, do that to help him out? Just by a little stunt and recover because most of his fouls come from the post or Somebody get backdoor cut, just little stuff like that. Where Mo got to try to help us, so we just as a team got to play together on the defensive end. I mean, you went down at one point in the second half, and Jeff was over top of you. What can you can you explain what happened in that sequence, and you know, what what was hurting when you went to the locker room, and what allowed you to come back out? Uh, I rolled my ankle again, and lately it's just been rolling it this whole season, and it's just been in pain. And he came over to me and started talking, just telling me to breathe, be calm, stuff like that. And the funny person I am, I started thinking about Paul Pierce. Because for some reason, when Paul Pierce came out the tunnel, he had a wheelchair, came out the tunnel and started playing again. It just made me think of that moment. And I saw the score, and I didn't want to let nobody down. So I just got up, and my trainer and I just retaped it again and took a towel on, and I remember right back out. Did you have a level of pain in the second half when you came back? Yeah, but I got to fight through it. That's Did what Brooklyn people do, fight through it. Did you ask them if they could bring you out in a wheelchair? I didn't ask them. That's, that's too dramatic. That's too dramatic. <laughs> Don't give them any ideas. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, there was a game earlier this season where you had like a similar injury. You rolled your ankle and you came out. I think you guys had a game. It was like a split from Saturday to Tuesday. And this is, this is going to be Saturday or Monday. You know, how do you, 
you know, how, how do you think you got to approach that to make sure that you are ready for Monday? Because that's that's a quick, that's even quicker turnaround. Uh, just little stuff like treatment, coming in early with the trainer, doing stuff at home. I actually watch a lot of YouTube videos for free yoga. So just little stuff like that to just get my body recovered.